Hey, good afternoon, everybody. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, I am here. I am back. Uh, please forgive me. I've been going through some family issues and some really good friend issues, um, helping some people out who aren't feeling so great. And uh, anyway, I won't get into all that. Let's talk about what I am talking about today. So if you're here, I would love to see where you're logging in from because right now I am in Southern California right at the moment at my friend's house and helping him out with some things. And uh, I would love to know where you're at. So if you'll put your city and state or wherever where you are, that would be super awesome. So here we go. Are you ready for the answers to these questions? So I'm going to give away a Starbucks gift card um, to everyone who private messages me the answers to the three questions. And I'm going to give you the answers right now. So you just have to listen. Oh my gosh, look at everybody coming on here. Very, very cool. So if you are selling something or if you are a business owner or an entrepreneur and you're out there networking and I know we all are, right? So I have some awesome business tips. I have mastered the art of networking because those of you who know me know that I recently, well, in November, I moved to Northern California where I did not know one person except my brand new sister that I barely knew at the time then because I just met her on Ancestry. So I am actually in the process of writing a book on how to get noticed and known and recognized in a, a really quick amount of time if you go to a new area. So I'm going to give you three of my favorite tips. Um, I have quite a few. Oh my gosh, look at everybody. So put where you're coming from. Would you put your city and state where you're logging in from? I'd love, love, love to know that. Okay, so here it is. Are you guys ready? Ready, ready, ready. Monica, oh my gosh, I guys, I, we got to talk. Um, okay, so here we go. Networking tips number one, okay? Now, remember, you're going to private message me with the answers, and don't tell anybody on here because everybody's got to watch it. And then um, you're going to be in a, in a drawing to win a Starbucks gift card. And also, anybody that does that, um, I would love to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, and I'll give you some more tips, okay, and see how I can help you with your business. Okay, so number one, no one cares about how much you know. They really don't. They only care about one thing. They don't care about how much you know. Now, before I give you the answer, I have to tell you that I there's a couple of people that I've talked to recently that were telling me all about their new business and their product, and they went on and on and on about all the details on how this product's going to help this and fix this and do this and all that stuff, and my eyes were like spinning in the back of my head, and I was like, okay, this is way too much information. Nobody really cares about how much you know. They don't. They only care about how much you care. They only care how much you care about them. Okay? In this world these days, it is not about anything other than building relationships. I have been speaking on this topic for a while. I have a new presentation that I have been doing that is all about the power of building relationships and and human connection. I'm going to tell you something. When I moved to Northern California and I didn't know a soul and my sister went off to work and I thought, oh my gosh, I know no one. How am I going to get clients? How am I going to start my business? What am I going to do? So I literally got my butt up early in the morning and found networking groups. I found chamber mixers. I found women's groups. I found all kinds of meetups, things like that, where I could go and start building relationships with people. And I love to tell you how I did that. I'll do that on another Facebook Live where we can meet and I can tell you. But um, I literally spent the last several months building relationships with people, not selling them anything, not trying to tell them all this stuff about how much I know unless they're coming to listen to me speak, but they only care how much you care. So one of the things that I do is I send greeting cards. I send thank you cards. I send nice to meet you cards. I do this all the time. The relationship marketing system I use, it works. It's, it's amazing, and I highly, highly recommend it. So private message me. No one cares how much you know. This is number one. People only care. No, they only care about how much you care. Number two. Oh, my gosh, this is a big one. Again, I met someone today that was trying so hard to sell me CBD oil. CBD products and he goes you really need this you really need this it's gonna help your pain and it's gonna help you do this it's gonna help you you know feel better and I'm like I feel great I have no pain I'm not your avatar not everyone is your avatar 
So what's an avatar? If you know what an avatar is, post that in, your, in the comments. Avatar, you should know this as a, as a business owner. An avatar is actually a representation of your ideal, most profitable client, okay? Your perfect client is your avatar. That's the one person that if you could have a thousand of them or a hundred of them, they that your business would be flourishing, right? Not everyone is your avatar. So one of the things that I talk about is just picture this, and I don't have a, an a illustration, but up at the top is a contact. So when you're out there networking and you're meeting people or just out in the public and you meet someone, line at Starbucks or whatever, that person is a contact. That person is going to fall into one of two buckets. They're either going to fall into this bucket over here as a prospect, someone who really does want or need your product that could turn into a customer or that's just one person, one person that could be a prospect turning into a customer. What I love and I'm such a big connector is I am building relationships with people who are not my avatar, who are not my perfect client. They might not need or want what they have, what I'm selling or what I'm, what I'm sharing. So, but if I feel, if I, care about them and I build a relationship with them they could be the best referral partner I could ever have in my life and they might tell the whole world and then all of those people that they tell that they refer to me because they know me like me trust me because I built a relationship with them they could give me a lot of customers right does that make sense so it's way better to go to networking events not trying to sell everybody your stuff not trying to tell them how much you know, not trying to just overwhelm them with your knowledge, but just build a relationship with them, show them how much you care, and then it's organic. People will start telling the world about you, right? So um, the other day I did the craziest thing, and I posted on Facebook uh, to for everybody to post a picture of their favorite pet picture. So I did that. I went through, I got everybody's, I, I private messaged everyone, I got, the, I asked them for their mailing address, I sent them a card, an actual physical greeting card with a picture of their pet on the front, and uh, I literally got so many people thanking me and giving me testimonials, and I've started building relationships with those people. So it's all about that. Okay, so number two was not everyone is your avatar, your perfect client. They might not even be your client at all. <laughs> okay, and number three, I'm sorry, I just have to add this because this is such a pet peeve of mine, especially since I moved up to Northern California and I went to so many networking events and chamber mixers and I have literally thousands of business cards. And you know what happens? Tell me this, tell me if this happens to you, I would die to know. When you get a business card and it's just a bunch of words on it, especially little words that I can't read and there's no picture on it of the person whose business card it is, I, I am super visual. I'm overly visual. If I don't remember what that person looked like, I, I have so many, I can't keep track. If you put your picture on your business card, that is the beginning of forming a relationship. They can look in your eyes, they can see what you look like, and they will recognize you. People do business with people they know, like, and trust, but only if they remember you. Got it? All right, any questions, anybody? Oh my gosh, there's so many people on here today. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's go back over one more time and I want you to private message me the answers and I'll put you in a drawing for a Starbucks gift card. So no one knows, no one cares how much you know. They only care about how much you care is the answer to number one. Number two, not everyone is your avatar. They are not your perfect ideal client, which is an avatar. And number three, please put your picture on your business card. Please do that. All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and post in the comments where you're coming to me from. I'd love to know what city and state you're in. And um, by the way, I'm in Southern California right at some moment. And um, I'd love to meet with you too. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Have an awesome and amazing day.